Hello everyone, welcome to the part 5 of the Unity 3D car tutorials. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how to add uh, the speed indicator to the screen at a racing game, that is. Uh, so let's get started with it. Uh, open the Unity. Firstly, what you have to, you have to create a GUI text. Rename it as, say, speed. Next, go to the yeah, open the car script. Now we have to declare our variables here. Some variables. I prefer to declare them at the last since it can be easily recognized. Variable. Declare a wheel collider here. Uh, yeah, you, you might ask, there's a wheel collider already in the timer thing. Yeah, uh, why can't we use static and uh, use it there? Well, basically, wheel colliders cannot be used as uh, a static variables, right? So that's the reason why I'm declaring it once again. Declare another variable named GUI speed, which is of type GUI text. Now create a private variable which can be accessed only by this script named current speed and set it to zero. right yeah now go to the fixed update part what fix update means is uh, the, uh, the updates uh, carry on as as you move as you drive the car the, the updates are fixed right so that's the reason why we are including uh, the calc uh, the formula part of the uh, what you can say the speed of the car here right the basically the formula that we'll be using is uh, we'll be uh, calculating the circumference and then depending uh, using the circumference of the wheel uh, we use the uh, rotations per minute of the wheel and then we multiply it by thousand so as to get it meters per uh, meters per hour and divide it by thousand to get the kmph value right this is the thing that we'll be doing no correct speed equals math f dot pi star 2 this is 2 pi multiplied by pi wc dot radius this is a radius of the wheel or you can say uh, the wheel collider multiply this by the rpm we get the meters per hour divided by thousand to get the kmph right now what we'll do is this is a float value current speed is a float value right so we'll round it off Using math f dot round. Fine. So what we'll do is now we'll display it on the screen using the GUI speed. What this, what uh, the current speed in the double course does is, it just prints as as it is. You might have studied this in C programming or the programming languages. So I'll add the current speed. Then we'll convert it to string. Yeah. 
so I guess it's done let's see if it works or not Unexpected. it's wrong it's wrong oh sorry I have to declare this as a float Silly errors, you know. Doesn't matter. Dot RPM. <coughs> right, I will save it. Hopefully, this time no errors. Cool. Let's clear this. Go to the car script. Assign the wheel colliders and the speed we text here that we have created earlier. Assign the wheel collider. Where is the speed here? So let's test it now. What we'll do is uh, we'll arrange this so it looks good. I'll say one and make this as 0.4. Set the font size to 40. This should be good. This is done. Uh, another thing uh, in, in the time elapsed thing is we are showing just the time. So I guess it will be better to add the time elapsed part to it. We'll just add time elapsed plus. Right. So let's see. Now it looks I guess it's quite good, right? Uh, so yeah, another thing Just erase this And say it as current speed Just go to the timer and type here time elapsed. Yeah, so this is the thing for today. Uh, see you again in the later videos. Do subscribe, guys. I've, I've been overwhelmed by the number of subscriptions and the number of video views. Seriously, and thank you for your comments. Uh, do keep commenting, liking, and subscribing. We'll see you in the next video. See ya.